Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. So, thicker crops means potentially more lodging. Yes. So one of the tools that a lot of growers worldwide are thinking about a lot more is growth regulators. Yep. Is that a tool that you believe in? Yep. Growth regs, <coughs> firstly, I'll just say the f best growth reg you got is nitrogen, or uh, is not putting nitrogen on. So if you've got a very thick crop, putting more nitrogen on is only going to make the, the, the situation a whole lot worse, and you're going to spend a lot more money on growth regs. So it's an expensive decision if you don't need it. Because it's going to cost you more to grow the crop after you put it on. And my advice would be to growers every time, delay the nitrogen and, um, and just use that as your growth rig. Because you've got to think that what's happening, what happens is the thicker the crops they are, the thicker the crop is, the taller it'll grow and the weaker stemmed it'll grow. So if you get in a situation where you've got to go with growth regs, We've got a few tools in our toolbox and we do growth rig most of our crop anyway. We would use Clormaquat, um, either one or two applications, or we could fit in there an application of Trinexapac, which is something like Modus. That'd be the only two things that are registered in New Zealand that we would use. Um, there are other products, they aren't registered in New Zealand, but that's all we need and we, that does the job for us. And we, we with good nitrogen management and good um, Good uh, growth reg management. We don't. We we shouldn't tip our crops over. Our crops should not lodge. And I suppose here, that would be what I'd be concerned about if people put early nitrogen on, and you had a really good spring, and <coughs> the the you know the potential for those crops to lodge. And then I would be saying yes, definitely growth reg them. Do people underestimate the yield loss that comes with lodging? Well, I'm not sure, but. We would expect, depending on how early it lodges, the earlier it lodges, the, the, the greater the yield impact. Um, we, we know that it's significant. It's 30% or it could, you know, it could be at least 30% if it lodges down early. So that, that coincides with the, 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 the issue around trying to harvest it off the deck. That's a slow process. That's holding up, the, that's holding up your harvest. Um, hopefully you haven't got any stones sticking up. Um, and also um, it can be an issue, and especially for us, if we get rain for a week or so, when it's flat on the ground, it's mature. You can actually end up sprouting and causing issues with quality. Yeah. So that's another issue. So I'd avoid it at all cost. It's just not a where, where you, want, didn't want to go, you don't want to go there. So really it's about nitrogen management. If your nitrogen management is either nitrogen management and growth reg, if, your nitrogen management, if you put nitrogen on it, and you wish you hadn't, then growth regs the only way you can help stand it up. Well, I can remember as a kid, it was like a sort of a pr situation of pride where it's like, look at that crop, it's so mm. thick, it's so heavy, it's, the kernels are so large, it's lodging. It was like, mm. it was like a pride in it. You don't realize mm. the cost of slowing down the harvest and the yeah. fact you're losing yield too. Yeah, it's, it, there's no positives in having a crop. There's no positives in having a crop lodge. There's no positives. So, you know, you just don't want to go there. Okay.